Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Man Manga Boy Opens Boxes and you watch him open the box. Everyone's favorite weekly show, am I right? Am I right? So, you know, we'll start off with the nice box from Right Stuff. <clears throat> you know, you'll notice my hands look a lot nicer these days. You can see my veins. It's because I got this excellent lighting. Makes my hands look 30 pounds slimmer. How about that? pretty good am i right or am i right anyways if you guys could please remember to like comment and subscribe it does help the channel out a lot i've got over 70 percent of the viewers unsubscribed or not subscribed so make sure you do remember to hit that subscribe button please thank you so much it means a lot to me sailor moon v or codename sailor v rather so this is going to be a prequel to sailor moon actually and I don't know too much about Sailor Moon. I mostly got this uh, series from my girlfriend and she read it, didn't like it very much, really likes the anime a lot. Uh, so uh, I don't think either of us have ever gone through with the initial series Sailor V. Uh, so this is a few pictures. You can see the artwork is a little bit sloppier. I believe it follows Sailor Venus through her uh, original escapades you know, alone because I don't think the other Sailor Scouts were found at this time. So it should be an interesting read. And of course the Eternal Editions are beautiful. If you guys have any way or desire to want to get Sailor Moon, I would definitely recommend the Eternal Editions. Just like I would recommend the Berserk Deluxe Editions. Here's Volume 9. I think I'm missing 1 through 4 or 1 through 3. I'll get them eventually. I'm just waiting for them to, to go on sale. I pretty much only get these once they are discounted. I think these were discounted from a Dark Horse Publisher sale, maybe? I can't really remember. but. You know, I think this is all up to date here, 8 and 9, as once I get one through 4, then I'll actually have them all. I do have all the singles, but to have the art actually blown up and to have such high quality paper is definitely pretty good, definitely ideal, because, uh, you know, Dark Horse can be a little bit sloppy. Here we have <coughs> the great Yahi will not be defeated. I don't know if that's how you say that. Uh, this is a similar plot to uh, Devils of Part Timer, so... This girl is a general in the Demon Lord's army, and then she gets sent to Earth, and she is reduced to this lower form. She's trying to get Mana Crystals to bring back the Dark Realm. Pretty comical series is what I heard. Blue Period, Volume 5. We continue on through the exams, <clears throat> and we're trying to figure out, did our main character pass? Did somebody not pass? What's happening with his cross-dressing friend? Tough to say. Noragami Volume 23. This fight looks a little weird to me. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, let's look through this real quick. Get some arts in here. I think 23 is the latest volume. I am still trying to get the rest of them in. I purchased them all and they were on sale from Right Stuff. Just waiting for them to come in. You know, one day they'll come in. One day. Someday. Here we have Captain Harlock in the space. Uh, Captain Harlock Space Pirate Volume 4. Dimensional Space Pirate. Um, or Dimensional Voyage. Anyways, this series is a highlight okay everybody is blowing it up and you know i think i'm the only captain harlock nut in the world but i was just missing volume five so i grabbed it wow they gave me a lot of these anyone looking for some anyone anyone even excited to go see bell i don't leave my house personally because i'm, I'm scared of the rona i don't want to get the sickness you know then you guys will hear me talking about like you know, and I don't really want to do that. Or maybe I'll have like an iron lung. Both of those are going to be a no-go for me, honestly. So let's open up this package here. This one is from eBay. Let's see. I'll get this thing out here. We've got uh, quite a quite a bit of good stuff from eBay today. You'll be you'll be pretty shocked, I think. Pretty darn shocked. Ooh, this is some cool paper. Look at this little little sprinkly sparkly paper here. Pretty cool. You guys can see, I changed up the music a little bit. I hope everybody likes it. If you don't like it, you know, let me know in the comments. There's supposed to be nice, relaxing piano music from anime series. I don't know <laughs> which series, so guys, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but I was excited when I to find these this playlist. I usually just get Nintendo music stuff, but you know, I decided to get something a little bit more relaxing. Kurohime volume, Hime, volume 11, this, I think I'm missing volume 10, and that's it. I have everything ordered, just waiting for it to come in. Some stuff is just a little bit more delayed. 
because I don't know. It just is. They said they said it would be. So it is. It it is be. Oh look at that, double. Very cool. So that's a look at that. You only get that kind of quality with eBay. Gotta love that. That's that's saying in here. My nice little hermit crab friend from Pokemon. Pokemon's in a bit of a bit of a fight apparently with Ninja. It's gonna be sketchy stuff. I know that's totally irrelevant, but I just I read an article about it the other day, <laughs> so I was like, oh, about that. <laughs> so another box from eBay or package rather. You know, eBay typically people have pretty good shipping common sense which is good every once in a while you get an anthrax uh, envelope and so you know you want to avoid those as best you can Rosie thank you and happy reading oh thank you Rosie that's very nice of you shout out to Rosie if you ever are watching this channel thank you for this excellent packing job you did a you did a nice job thank you let's open this up here try not to cut the book <coughs> here we are nice little baggie We've got Blood Blockade Battlefront Volume 7. I'm not gonna lie, Rosie, the pictures you took made this look way worse than what it actually is. This is a pretty good buy. I think I got this for like 30 or 40 bucks. You know, a little bit on the pricier side, but it's not easy to find these. I'm only missing, I don't know, five and eight maybe. <laughs> But here, I mean, some of these prints look awesome. This is from the same creator as Trigun. There's a sequel series out in Japan. Never made it to English. I don't know how good this series really is. I've heard mixed things about it. I read it. I liked it. But didn't think it was super great when I was younger. So I'm hoping it gets a bit better. It does have, like, a really big uh, following in the anime community instead of the manga community for whatever reason. But that's cool. So let's open this up here. Another package from eBay. We just keep pumping them out, you know. You can tell I had some bad handlings on my money bank from the Christmas time, okay? You can just tell it. Anyways, this is Pretty Face, Volume 6. I'm only missing Volume 5 now. Again, this is only a six-volume series. Toss that out of the way. The main character gets a face mix-up when he gets in an accident and he, he he looks like this girl who he's got a crush on or something like that. Sounded pretty funny to me. This is the final volume. So I picked it up. Pretty cool. I try not to show too much art from the final volumes in case I run across a spoiler. So I didn't. Also I got Ultimate Muscle 24 from Amazon. They had it in stock for a retail price. I bought it for a retail price. This is the first Ultimate Muscle volume I have, and so we go down the journey of trying to get Ultimate Muscle. I'll slowly try to piece it together, but the volumes go for an insane price. Probably won't be anything too soon. That's it for this haul, but now we've got another box, okay? This box just came in soon after I, I finished, uh, finished, finished that last one I just did. So let's open it up. This is also from eBay. This this package is just all one series here. It wasn't supposed to come in for a few days, so that's why I I didn't think to wait for it. So, but you know, I guess if it it can make it into this video, it will. Because otherwise, it was like an eight minute long video. I usually like them to be around ten minutes typically. Uh, you know, ten to fifteen if I can help it. This is really taped up in there. Hmm. I got this for a pretty good price, $300, and so not great, <laughs> but it is a decent price, so I figured it was fine. It's around 20 bucks a volume. Okay, why are there paper towels in here? Was this to protect the volumes? These these little crumpled up paper towels? Like what the what the heck? All right, man. Cool, cool, cool. I guess an interesting choice. Not one that I would pick, and I don't think it really helps protect the books too much, but that's okay. I'm just piling up these books off to the side so I can get this box out of the way. Bear with me. Uh, thank you. And then we'll just go through these real quick here. This is going to be, you know, one of the more common series to have in people's collection, despite it being out of print for whatever reason. 
everybody is all about it. Um, I hope I make a huge turn in my life. I've always wanted it because it's just everybody talks about it, and I haven't ever read it. I watched uh, a movie when I was really little, and I don't really remember anything about it. Uh, just a bit of the artwork. The artwork actually looks pretty cool. Ooh, damn, that's gruesome AF. Cool. So I am pretty excited to read it since it does have such high praise. Uh, I, again, I really wanted to buy this for like 200 250 or get the Ultimate Editions, but it just wasn't wasn't happening. In fact, the prices were going up. It was really even hard to find this for 300 so I did have to bite that bullet here. But we'll just go through these covers. The backs are they're all the same, so not very creative Tokyo Pop. The, the fronts, though, and the covers themselves are matte kind of feeling, so that is weird. I always thought that people just had, like, dirty or scuffed volumes, but no, that's just kind of how these are designed. Uh, to look that way. Ooh, that was, looks a little inappropriate. Get that out of here on my rated Jeep channel. Gosh darn it. But yeah, we're just chugging through here. Ten. And the Ultimate Editions are the hardcover volumes, in case you guys didn't know that. The Ultimate Editions uh, are pretty easy to get, but they're usually higher price. And the four and five is, like, impossible uh, for the hard editions. Usually people can get one through three pretty easily. But, you know, maybe I'll get it later, maybe I will just get this and just be happy, because I, I'm happy to just to have that, truthfully. It doesn't seem like they'll get too damaged too easily since they are a little bit of a rougher um, cover instead of a, your usual paperback. Let's open her up from eBay again. A little bit of a fold up here, and we have our new Dragon Drive Volume 8. As you guys might remember, my other volume 8 is in real bad condition. It's falling apart, laminated library condition uh, edition. This cover has a little wrinkle to it, not super bad. Let's see if I can see it from the other side. No, it's not cutting up Ichigo's face. It's pretty, pretty mild. But that is truly it this time. I'll see you guys, ooh, excuse me, next week. I've got a huge haul coming in. It's literally ginormous. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.